Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Quantitative Literacy Online, Fall 2020. Uh, I am Mr. Lee, I'm your instructor for this course. Um, we are in the very middle of a pandemic, um, so we're going to be doing all of our coursework remotely. Um, but even though we are working remotely, I want to make sure that you're aware that um, we're still interested in you achieving your academic goals. We want to see you do well in this course. Um, so. I'm here to help you any way that I can, and we're trying to offer you a lot of student support. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes and take a look at Blackboard with you. So I'm on the announcement page right now. Um, a good place to get started is with the Start Here tab. Uh, this is supposed to be a portrait of me. Um, and the first thing I would encourage you to look at is the syllabus, which can be found right here. I got it pulled up right here. I, I encourage you to take the time to read through the syllabus. Um, it's only about four pages. Um, it includes how your grade is going to be calculated, and that's something that students are always interested in. Um, and the last three pages of the syllabus is your pacing guide. So this is a great way to make sure you're keeping up with due dates, you're taking care of business, about three pages long documents what you need to do every week. So if you can print these three pages, I think it's really going to benefit you to have a physical copy of this that you can hold. So um, this is the syllabus. Let's take a look at uh, course content. Um, there's also a Collaborate Ultra tab. This is a space that we can meet together if you want to meet during student hours or if you reach out to me, I can set up a meeting time. Um, my instructor contact is down here. There's some campus resources. Oh, I almost forgot. The course entry assignment. This is very important. After you read the syllabus, go knock out the course entry assignment. It only takes a few minutes. Um, I have to do this for auditing purposes. If you don't complete the course entry assignment, then you will be automatically unenrolled in this course. So please go complete the course entry assignment. It only takes a few minutes. Okay, course content. Um, you can see there's a folder for every week. And this should be your landing page when you log into Blackboard. And you can see uh, it has the same summary here as the pacing guide we were just looking at. Um, every week is structured basically the same. Um, we are taking a week off for a Labor Day in a few weeks. We will also take a week off for Thanksgiving. You have two exams, both of which will take right here. So like if I click right here, you'd see the exam. Um, one is due... Uh, oh, that says week 8. Okay, I need to fix that. Uh, one is due Friday of week 9, and then one is due Tuesday, December 8th. All right, so let's take a look at the first week together. Uh, each week is structured basically the same. Um, you have required readings, um, and we can take a look at those readings together briefly. Um, so the readings have a lot of explanation and examples. So I encourage you to take the time to look at that. And then there's a lot of videos. A whole lot of videos. And there's even extra videos down here. So this is a video on percent of change. I'm not going to watch a video in a video right now. But um, a lot of students like instructional videos. There's a lot built into Blackboard. So take advantage of them. All right, then on Wednesday, you have a homework assignment due. On Friday, you have a lab assignment due. Let's take a look at the first homework together. And um, My Open Math is integrated with Blackboard, so you can, it, so whenever you have a My Open Math assignment, it just, you just click on it in Blackboard and it takes you to it. So I was playing around with this um, a bit earlier. So, um, I don't know, let's just take a look at a problem. So here's a problem about avocados. Um, you can jump around in the homework. You don't have to work the questions in order. And um, you can try at a problem as many times as you want. And there's always, in the homework, there's always a try another similar problem button. There's no penalty for getting something wrong. And when you get around to getting the question correct, so let's get this question correct here. 
you see it says one out of one. So you get you get a hundred on this question. So there's no penalty for trying. There's no penalty for getting something wrong. You just got to keep working at it until you get it right. Um, I like to see strong homework grades. Students with strong homework grades do well in the course. Um, so give yourself the time and space and support that you need to get 100s on these homework assignments every week. All right, I want to bounce out of this and take a look at the lab for a second. So you get unlimited attempts on the homework and I didn't point this out and I meant to. Uh, it's due Wednesday. It actually tells you the due dates up here if you ever get confused. The labs are due on Friday. So this is the lab that's due Friday. Uh, this lab is nine questions long. It's a little bit longer than what you normally would see. Um, and I was playing around with this earlier and went ahead and used up an attempt. But you get three attempts on the labs. So this would be attempt two for me. So I'm going to hit submit. Uh, I'm probably be, oh yeah, yeah, I had two assignments open at once and they got upset at me. So let's re-enter this. Let's hit submit. So um, I can re-attempt this assessment, but this is what I want you to be aware of. All prior attempts will be cleared. So you get up to three attempts, but it is your last attempt that will be recorded. So if you score an 85 on attempt one, you could risk lowering your grade by doing the lab again. So be aware. But So the re-attempts are there, so if you just make a really silly mistake and you do it poorly once, you can go and try again. Okay, that's the highlights of everything I wanted to talk about with you. Um, we will be offering, we're offering free uh, tutoring online through the Learning Center this semester, which I think is a great opportunity. Um, you can sign up for, for that through Navigate, which is a new platform for the college. I'm going to send out more information uh, about that in coming weeks. Um, and we are offering help sessions as the math department. Uh, faculty members have volunteered times where they'll be in classrooms and you can come in and get help. Um, we're offering help sessions for this class both on main campus and at the Northwest Center. And I'll be uh, emailing you out more information about that too in the coming weeks. So please reach out, get any questions, any concerns, um, and I look forward to our semester together.